It's been two decades since American soldiers stepped foot on Iraqi soil to fight in the war on terror, to go on an ill-fated quest for weapons of mass destruction and topple Saddam Hussein. But for some of those who served there, 20 years feels like yesterday. It's hard to get those uh, kind of blinders off, you know? I, I, I call them my blood tit tit lenses where I can't see anything but the, the horrendousness of human beings, and not so much the beauty that really does surround our lives. Sergio Alfaro signed up for the Army in June 2000. At 17, he wasn't even old enough to register. His parents had to sign a consent form. He was looking for a path to medicine. He wasn't thinking about actually being sent off to war. During that time, it's like, well, how could, how would a war even begin? You know, everything was kind of seemingly at a stalemate. Like everybody had their pieces of, you know, prosperity and happiness. And it's like, how could it, how could that even become uh, a reality? But in the blink of an eye, it did. Two and a half years after America was attacked, almost at the end of his required service, Sergio was on that plane to Iraq as an army medic. To this day, his memories are vivid of his battle buddies losing their lives, of other American soldiers acting in unthinkable ways. It has to do with the, the, the dead Iraqi policemen, you know? Um, at one point, uh, some of the medical team I was working with in the trauma center uh, decided to go to the back and actually practice a cricoidotomy on the cadaver. I mean, it's a face I, uh, uh, I'm going to see for the rest of my life, you know? And nobody could see it, especially as they were sticking a, a spatula down his throat and trying to get the tubes in and all this other stuff. I was just like, what is going on here? Like, like I wanted to tell them to stop, but I... I I couldn't, I froze. Alfaro reported the incident to a captain who made sure it wouldn't happen again. As he was experiencing trauma in real time, he was aware that back home, there were very mixed feelings about his service, his sacrifice, about why we were at war in Iraq. When he got home, he ignored that continued controversy, head down, barreling through the guilt of the encounter with the dead policeman, focused on his goals. Sergio earned a spot at Harvard Medical School, a lifelong dream for him. But some of his medical rotations took him right back to the desert, whether it was listening to patients at the VA or a group of doctors rushing to help a patient in the hospital. It was like I was hearing people running again. I was like back there in Iraq and I was just like back in the home VA and I was just trying to hold on to the chair that I was on and just trying not to get swept away with like all the different memories. I was like, I can do this, I can do this, I can get through this. This is, you know, there's gonna be hard parts, there's gonna be easy parts. He dropped out after multiple medical leaves of absence for PTSD. His wounds from war had followed him home. With that decision, the future he imagined for himself, the very reason he went to war in the first place, died. Some days, he wishes he never went. Um, I mean, yes, it's something I still grieve to, grieve about to this day. You know, I always thought that uh, being a doctor was the thing I was made for. Um, I love science, I love medicine, um, that love has never gone away. Sergio says he went to a dark place for a long time, isolating himself, not working, not leaving the house, just trying to keep himself alive. In Iraq, it was about surviving, not dying. At home, it turns out it was the same. He says his loved ones got him to a place where he can actually live. They could see me to the core who, of who I am. He tells his painful story so others will do the same, so that the number of soldiers lost because of the war in Iraq doesn't keep growing. Maybe other people said like, oh yeah, he went to war, he's not the same. And I just hope you don't forget that the core of who they are is still there. And it's just buried.